welcome back guys this is Irma with another devotional it's episode number 27 and this is based on again the book in the spirit of armor bearing a devotion to serve but this time I'd like to mention one of our sponsors is the new training resource that I've developed for you it's an armor bearer training course and it's also based upon in in the spirit of armor bearing book and you can either sign up for part one or part two or the complete course which covers the entire book and these uh, have video training sessions with a live training sessions um, during the course. I hope you take advantage of that and sign up, sign your team up or sign yourself up or uh, sign your whole church up. That would be great. And um, today we are talking about serve guarding against offense. And my encouragement is that we really do have to guard against offense. It's so easy to become offended. And the enemy, <laughs> that's his job, so he doesn't make it easy for us to avoid it. In fact, Jesus said that it's impossible that offenses might come. I mean, they're, they're a part of life. Just like it rains on the just and the unjust offenses come to us all. Whether uh, we're trying out for a team, a sports team, a cheerleading team, a, a drama team, any kind of team you can think of that it's a competition to enroll, um, there's opportunity for offense. And either the parent gets offended or the child gets offended. And uh, we have to learn at an early age how to deal with offense. And I'm sad to say that some of us haven't done so well with it. I know in the past I didn't do so well with it myself. Um, and not to say I've arrived. I can remember just a few uh, weeks ago. <laughs> I had an opportunity, but I've learned over the years that the right response to offense, just like rejection, the right response to offense is forgiveness. We are commanded to forgive as Christians, and it's a journey to learn to forgive faster and faster. That's what it's like. So, um, again, I'll start reading here, guard against offense. Offenses are the bait of Satan. He'll try to trap you in unforgiveness toward a person. He'll give you all the justifiable reasons you should stay mad. <laughs> Continue not speaking or just harbor unforgiveness. And really, that's a dangerous thing for us as Christians to harbor unforgiveness. It blocks our blessings. It um, opens the door for further sin and even attack from the enemy uh, if it's continued long enough. So like a baited fish hook, our enemy waits for us to walk into it. The fishing hook has an interior part of the trap designed to be baited and draw you in. Like a fish on a hook, when you take the bait, you are offended and caught. Webster's Dictionary describes offense as a creating of resentment, anger, a feeling of hurt, anger. <laughs> Did I mention anger? Sin or crime. 
Jesus said that offenses would inevitably come in our lives. Matthew 18, 7. Just like the storms of life come to the righteous and the unrighteous, or the Father sends rain to the just and the unjust, I've begun to realize more and more that our Father God is sovereign. And um, so Satan, our enemy, can be sneaky with this one. So stay alert. It's his job and his goal to make it seem like there is no choice. But each time that we are hurt, and offended, there's a choice. We have a choice. We can stay offended or forgive. Forgiveness is always the right choice. And our meditation moment is Proverbs 19, 11. A man's wisdom gives him patience. It is to his glory to overlook an offense. So uh, my encouragement is to remember there are, there's always a choice. I know things get pretty cloudy when we're angry or offended and um, it may seem like there's not a choice, but there always is. God has made sure of that. There's no temptation um, that can come against us that he doesn't provide a way for us to get out of it or escape it. And our escape when offended is to forgive. And sometimes it takes the blood of Jesus <laughs> to walk in that forgiveness. If we're hurt or someone has done a grievous wrong to us, offensive wrong to us, then we can apply the blood of Jesus over the, even the memory of it. Because sometimes even the memory of something carries a sting, and it, that's from the enemy. And he'll try to uh, push replay in our heart and toward our mind to get us to focus on it over and over again, but we can put a stop to it with forgiveness. And if you have trouble with forgiveness, plead the blood of Jesus over it after you forgive, and it will remove the sting and the hurt and heal your heart. And so I pray for you that Father God would help you in any area of offense. In Jesus' name, <laughs> amen. I pray you got something out of today. Um, I will see you next video. And next time we'll be talking about serve never giving up. Bye now.